So to President Hines, Provost Devin Demet, honored and invited guests, and most importantly, the Clayton State University graduating class of 2017. Good afternoon. <laughs> On behalf of Mayor Kasim Reed and the entire Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport team, it is my distinct honor to join you for today's graduation, which is a celebration of four years of hard work and steadfast commitment. And as I look out in this sea of faces in this graduating class, I'm struck by the diversity, diversity in age, gender, race, and especially life experiences. This class is a true melting pot of life experiences. Perhaps you're the first college graduate in your family. Maybe you've worked part-time while attending school. Or perhaps you're a student who returned to college to develop new skills, or an older student who pursued a degree to build a better life for you and your family. Whatever your story, whatever your circumstance, know that what you've earned here today is a monumental achievement which is worth celebrating. For some of you, the road was long and at times difficult. You had to overcome obstacles, conquer fears, and ignore doubts. But you did not give up. You showed strength of mind and strength of character. And now you're sitting here, a testament to the power of extraordinary perseverance and enormous faith. And no one can take this achievement away from you. So from here, your future is limited only by your efforts. George Bernard Shaw once said, take care to get what you like, or you will be forced to like what you get. So what does that mean? So to me, it means that you're in control of your own destiny. You determine how much or how little effort you put forth and whether you will define your future or have it defined for you. So as you forge ahead in life, let me provide a few words of advice. First, don't sit on your degree. Certainly, be proud of what you've accomplished, but understand that this is just another step on your long journey. For some of you, it's the first step into the real world. For others, this is a return to the world with new skills and a renewed sense of purpose. Regardless of your situation, please don't rest on your laurels. There's always more to learn and room to grow. When I graduated from Memphis State University many years ago, I didn't plan to run the world's busiest and most efficient airport. But every stop I made in my career prepared me for and propelled me to the road that I am in today. I truly believe that my success came about because I was eager to learn, to ask questions, and to challenge my own assumptions. Now is your opportunity to challenge yourself and ask yourself, how can I make myself better and those around me better? Which brings me to my second piece of advice. Foster and manage your relationships. If you can't build and manage relationships, then your chance of success, regardless of your technical skills, would be fraught with challenges. This skill set, which some call emotional intelligence, is important. If you don't have it, develop it, and then nurture it. Regardless of the type of work you do, building and maintaining relationships is fundamental, not just professionally, but personally as well. My next piece of advice is to find role models. Don't be afraid to ask for help and seek input. Learn to accept and embrace feedback. At the same time, Please be true to yourself. Throughout my career, there were individuals who gave me valuable things. They gave me their time, they gave me their insight, and they gave me the opportunity to find my own way. You too will discover your own path, but it's not always nice, I and mean, sometimes it is nice to find mentors whom you can lean on from time to time. My last piece of advice is this. It's not always about what you achieve, it's how you achieve it. If you achieve great things in life, people will admire what you do. But equally important is the way you do it. Be true to your word, treat others with respect, be humble, listen to others, and above all, show empathy. My father displayed these, my father displayed these traits and more. He was a self-made man who had a tremendous gentleness about him, and I admired and I respected that. He used to say something profound, something that I would like to share with you. No matter what happens, he would say, never let anybody have the last word on your character. 
Of course, he was always fond of saying, boy, take out the trash. It builds character. <laughs> but in all seriousness, his words still resonate with me today. So I want you to remember, you determine your character. Don't ever let anyone determine it for you. Live it, own it, and defend it. And so with that, I want to thank Clayton State University for inviting me here today on this special occasion. And to you, the graduating class, best wishes for a bright and prosperous journey ahead. Thank you, and good luck to every single one of you.